As we sit down for Thanksgiving uh, this week, a lot of us, thanks to the pandemic, are farther from our families than we would like. But while we prepare smaller meals this year, it is important to remember where all that food comes from. Farm workers, many of whom are poorly paid and relatively unprotected from the coronavirus, have kept food on grocery store shelves for months and in our nation's food banks, which are more critical this year than just about ever before. And to help recognize those workers, United Farm Workers Labor Union asked people to tweet their favorite Thanksgiving dish and find out how it got to their table. And it is really worth taking a look at these workers and their stories and, and the work they do. Like Amadeo, a farm worker in Oxnard, California, who shared this video showing how he and his co-workers harvest beets, like the ones your family might roast or put in a potato salad. Or if your salad has radishes instead, here's Patricia, a farm worker, pulling up and bunching radishes together. Look at that. She earns $1.86 per crate. Each crate contains 60 bundles of radishes. If you eat Brussels sprouts this holiday, here's how they were harvested. Because Brussels sprouts grow on a tough, woody stem, the UF UFW says workers need strength and precision to avoid serious injury as they chop down the sprout plants. Other workers then need to put the stalks into processors that separate out the individual sprouts. If you enjoy turnips, they also take a lot of skill to harvest without chopping off a finger. Check this out. This is a Charlie. He earns about 75 cents per bucket of cut turnips. As the fastest worker in his crew, and you can see it there, he clears about 25 buckets an hour. Do you enjoy onions in your Thanksgiving meal? Well, here's onions being harvested in Indiana. That's a state that doesn't have heat or shade requirements, according to the UFW. It's a 12-hour-a-day job. There are a ton more of these videos and worker stories on the United Farm Workers Twitter feed. I really highly recommend that you and your families, with your kids, if you got them around, take a look to get a sense of where this all this food comes from. And while you're sitting down to dinner, uh, maybe getting into Zoom discussions about what workplaces or schools are, are, are going to open next year, what you're going to do. Remember, this, what you're seeing there, cutting the turnips, this is what essential work looks like. As we start to plan for who gets first crack at a vaccine, keep these farm workers in mind. Much like meatpacking plant workers, they often have to go work with minimal protections and low pay to gather food that we all eat. That's why there's a push for California to actually prioritize agricultural workers in the first round of vaccinations. They should be a priority. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter if Google or Twitter or big banks or NBC employees come back to the office now in six months or in a year. It really doesn't matter that much. But it matters that those folks are out there working. We all rely on these farm workers for our most basic needs.